Hello friends, welcome back to Little Orpheus, also Ginger now. Now we've got that out of the way, let's get into it. I cannot remember where we got to on this, or how to play, so this is going to be really good. Okay, we're on episode 5. Beneath the waves of Moliopka, Moliopka. Beneath the waves of Moliopka. That, that's how it's spoken and said. I thought I was doomed. But a miraculous thing happened, General. I could breathe. Ooh. It must have been the helmet that was jammed onto my head. It was a strange and remarkable thing. Some might almost say beyond belief. A narrow-minded fool may indeed, General. But of course, you are no Durak. But even as I sank towards the floor of that lost ocean, my journey was about to take me to darker, stranger territory than ever before. And it happened like this. Oh, we're floaty. What about you guys, but it's kind of frustrating being this slow. Like I want of speed. Jump. <laughs> Let me see if I have this correctly. After narrowly failing to apprehend the mad missing explorer Tull and recapture my atomic bomb in your giant snowball, you fell through thin ice and sank to the bottom of a subterranean ocean, discovering along the way that the mind control helmet you had accidentally wedged onto your head enabled you to breathe underwater and resume your pursuit across the seabed. Yeah, I have no questions. General, you seem perplexed. Perplexed? Perplexed is that the keys to my house are not where I left them. Perplexed is the fact my dog will not eat cheese like other dogs. No, Ivan Ivanovich, I am not perplexed. I would have to go back on myself. I am what one may refer to as afraid. <laughs> What am I meant to be doing? Where am I meant to be going? What is happening? Who am I? Who are you? I did it. I'm so smart. Intrigued then, perhaps? I'm not in sure intrigued is the correct term either. Enraged at being taken for a simpleton? Now that, perhaps, is a better way of describing my current state of mind. Seahorses! Friends! We're gonna get chased by like a shark or something. Ooh. Something worse than a shark. The seahorse is so That is unfortunate, General. Once again, Comrade Pervalov, I must correct you. Unfortunate is losing one's car in a snowstorm. Unfortunate is booking opera tickets on your wife's birthday and getting the date wrong. Oh, was she furious? That is not the issue! Furious? However, now that is a good word. I could speak with your wife. Would that help? I could always have a word with her if you like. I could always have you shot. Oh, you could. Sounds fun. But I suspect she would appreciate the gesture less. I don't know. I'd appreciate having a random person shot. I didn't say that. Oh, but we jumped so high. Uh -oh. That wasn't high enough. That wasn't high enough. Okay. Oh, oh. too high. Not too high. Flawless. Perfect. First try. No questions asked. No notes. No comments. The audio is really cool. It all sounds echoey. Uh oh. I'm not pressing any buttons. 
What will waggy? What is it? The Kraken. A Kraken. A vast monster of the sea. A giant, humongous, many-armed electrical destroyer of ships and cities! Electrical? Electricity flowed along its horrible body, sparking and stunning all it touched, flowing like deadly rivers along its awful tentacles! That's not very nice. I should be a voice actor. I'm so good at the screams. <laughs> Where are we? Whoopity bippity. Oh, we're a little bit faster now. Maybe. Maybe I'm gaslighting myself. Or am I gaslighting myself about gaslighting myself? I have no idea. Oh, his little legs. Did you see that? He does like a little... Wait, go back down. I want to show them your feet. Okay, so he does like a little... Oh, he didn't do it that time. He did like a little... A sobering discovery. Are you suggesting Ooh, that the vessel the simply propeller. wandered off course and sank here? That seems unlikely even by your standards. No, General, I only wish that were true. The mighty ship showed terrible scars. Signs of yeah. having been grappled and torn asunder by some huge and terrible adversary. Me, the and I don't get snacks. strange and curious. I am troubled by this discovery. Might you almost be perplexed, perhaps? Don't push your luck. <laughs> ha! Whoa! Sorry, I'm just having fun making fun of his sounds. I'll stop. Maybe. At some point. Ooh, blue glowy things. Ooh. I don't know why we went ha about that. That should have been like a ooh. Or a yeah. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> I'm just here for the vibes. Press and hold control to interact. Bonk. That was rude. We catching the bubbles, yeah. I feel mean. We just opened this dude. Bubbles, they go ups. No, no. We go up, pretty, up, pretty, up, pretty, up, up, pretty, 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 up, Very convenient setup. Squish, squash. What is the logic behind the blue light stops the zizzle zazzle? I was stationed at Sydney Ostrich some years ago. I am only too aware of how easy it is for the imagination to create monsters when one is exposed to lonely and dark places. My men required constant monitoring. Mm, much like my, my cousin, cousin Pavel. Pavel. He was also stationed at Ostrov? No, he required constant monitoring. He was a devil for stealing eggs. I love this guy. Do we get to steal the bubbles? No. Boo! Asia. 
I was referring to the fear that something is lurking in the darkness. Something strange, brutish, and ill-intentioned. Again, that sounds much like my cousin Pavio. I knew he was going to say that. Clonk. Oh. Stop. seeing too much action at the moment. So this is quite a slow start compared to the other episodes we've had. How pleasant bobbing along, bobbing along on the bottom of the beautiful briny sea. Oh, the guinea fish. Fire. But they kill me, right? Can I touch you? Can I touch you? No touchy. Just wanted to pet the pretty jellyfish. Can't believe they'd show me something cute like a jellyfish and then just not let me be its friend. It's not even like when we were betrayed with the T Rex where they weren't. I thought they were friendly and then they weren't. This is just... We've been ignored. We've not even been attacked. They don't... <laughs> you don't see us as worthy. <gasps> wow, look at the jellyfish. I was being hunted. There was no doubt about it. And escape was all I could think about. Naturally. Oh, that and duty. Duty? Yes, General. After all, I had a bomb to recover from that villain Toll. How clever of you to remember that. Those jellyfish are so pretty. I love the animation as well of the wibble wobble. Experiencing Le Fear. Ah! Ah! I know that was meant to be like spooky, but it just seemed cool. He's gonna come after us in a sec though. Tag yourself, I'm... <laughs> I'm just so hypnotised by the jellyfish. Jelly? Sweet. Totally. So pretty. Uh, but first, there was the issue of escape. Escape from a dreadful grasping creature that consumed all it could reach, dragging anything that wandered within its clutches to a miserable doom. A hoarder of useless trophies and stolen goods. Dragon. Mm, once again, Tavarish, I suspect you are pursuing a somewhat tortuous metaphor for capitalism in the misguided hope of appealing to my political ideals. I mean... You're not wrong. Capitalism, dragons, same thing. This is definitely the slowest episode we've had so far. 
it might not seem slow to you, I might have edited down bits of where we're just walking with literally nothing happening because that's primarily what's going on right now. Future me knows what I have done. I was like a mouse, General. A little mouse being toyed with by a terrible cat. Or rather a wet mouse. I was like a little underwater mouse. Being stalked by a giant rubbery electrical cat with eight tentacles. Exactly, General. Good, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> you may continue. General got jokes. <laughs> Oh, that's close. You lift me up so I can feel You raise me up to all I can be. There you go. You guys are good. Keep getting phone calls. Let me look. Hmm. Any particular submarines? Did you see names, numbers? Your mum. General, have you lost a submarine? <laughs> I am not at liberty to answer that question, as you well know. Well, General, losing one's car in a snowstorm is unfortunate, as you say. But to lose a whole submarine, that could be considered careless. Oof. Cutting remarks here. Hold on, can we pause? It's rather ominous, the red glow. I am yet to encounter a red glow that has not been disastrous in nature. And you are certain it was M. de Vesci Pizza Twist? Well, that was painted on the hull, so I can only assume so. Ah, I think I know where this dismal story is going next. You somehow miraculously brought the remaining closed cycle engine online, uh, flooded the torpedo tubes, Dispatched the Kraken with one shot and triumphantly surfaced! No, no, General. That is not what happened at all. I did indeed make my way to the torpedo tubes, but for a very different purpose. After all, history has taught us that atomic power is not to be toyed with. Much like tired, impatient generals, perhaps. Particularly the perplexed ones. Indeed, General. Or like dogs that will eat no cheese. I feel like that's something we probably would have wanted to keep, no? I'm guessing I shouldn't have done that, maybe. Oh, I got stuck on a thing. danger right now. Okay. This ain't like 
like the T-Rex where he was clearly hot on our tail. Seems safe. I have no notes. Will our determined yet disorientated hero end his days as socialist sushi? Will his daring exploits be cut tragically short by vengeful calamari? Will the general's wife ever forgive him for missing Ruslan and Ludmilla? And just how many eggs did Pavel steal and where did he keep them? All of these questions and more may or may not be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus. Right, I'm not gonna lie, not particularly impressed by that episode. That felt really lacklustre. Everything else has been really good so far, but that just felt super slow, super sluggish. I felt like we were just constantly in like a opening scene or something, like waiting to get to what was coming. I'm gonna do the next episode just to see if it's any better, but I'm really disappointed in this one. Let me know what you thought, cause it might just be me. Bye guys. Mwah. <laughs>